Hi guys, it's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. We've been bothered by so much rain for the past days. We're actually very concerned about the flooding and not only that this flooding caused a lot of destruction to our farm but also it displaced thousands of people here in our community. But personally, I have learned so many lessons about this flooding. For myself, I deem it very important to share with you the need to take care of our environment. Because here in our country, some of the people are cutting trees. That's why this is now the ill effects of the cutting of the trees. And I am an advocate for our protection of the environment. We should not cut trees, but instead we will plant more trees. So today's video, allow me to make an update about our lovebirds. Actually, as I inspected the nest boxes, I saw many birds or chicks that are about to be harvested in our previous video i told you about the aspect of care that we observe here which includes the cleanliness the regularity and the changing of the water and then the green leaves that we can give to our african lovebirds and many of those who have viewed that video were asking about the frequency of the moringa well for moringa i can recommend that this should be given daily. I'm really very excited to remove all the chaps by winnowing it. Know what I mean? I'm doing this in order to separate the chap from the seeds. And this is my routine every morning. And they really love to, you know, eat some seeds which are already pure seeds. So they're gonna eat this one after we can remove all the chaps. And this is also one of the things that we're doing in order to you know, preserve the seeds because if you are not keen enough to observe it, you will suspect that it's not anymore usable because they are already chopped. But then if you are going to winnow it, we can still get some good seeds inside in this container. So this is it. And you will see that the new bamboo that we have installed right here have already some eggs. Here we can see some eggs. And then over here, we can already see eggs. So you will see that barely around two, three weeks from the installation of this bamboo, they already have used this. You can see many eggs over there. And this is already uh, very satisfying because you know that they like what you have done for them. Actually, this lovebird farming is not any more difficult because we can already learn so much about the vlogs of different people with different experiences and different environments and i've learned much of this from the other vlogs of course from our indian friends we have so many vlogs from our indian friends talking about how to take care of this african and even this parakeets and i learned so much also from them and that's why I am also sharing my personal experiences in order for the others to follow. If you're intending to breed these parakeets, you should go alongside with gardening of these water spinach because the water spinach needs to be unlimited. 
unlimited in a sense that if they're gonna like to eat, there should be spinach available. And uh, this is what we are practicing now. Today is morning here in our place and you will see that they have already consumed half of this water spinach. Just allow me to share with you some piece of advice when you're gonna give the water spinach. We have to air dry this for a couple of hours before we're gonna give it to them because the sap of this is actually not good for them if it's given fresh. So we have to dry this up for three hours, four hours, and then that's the time that we can safely give this to our birds. I would like to resolve the issue whether or not we can still hatch the birds when these clay pots are swinging, it's moving. I really had a doubt before, but now it already gives us the conclusion that even though this will move, this will still able to hatch the eggs of our birds. And one of you said, well, it's just like in the normal or in the wild because some of these birds are making nests on the trees and the trees are moving, so it's just normal for them to experience this type of environment. And I am convinced that even if it's moving, it can still hatch the chicks or the eggs. And one proof is this. I can show it to you. The babies that are here. Sorry for the disturbance. I have to get this one for us to see what's inside. <laughs> So we will look inside what's going on here. Wow, you see that? We have actually four babies right here. And another myth is that when you're gonna disturb them or we, you're gonna check them out, they're gonna throw their eggs or they're gonna kill the chicks. I think there is no truth about it because I have experienced many times already uh, getting or inspecting the nest boxes but the mamas are not angry and it did not result to egg throwing or even killing of the chicks I am now fully convinced that there's no truth about it that when you're gonna hold the chicks they will kill it but maybe it is due also to the kind of practice that we are observing here because we are normally doing this on a regular basis not every day but I think it's uh, more than twice or twice a week so in a week time we expect whether there are spoiled eggs there are dead chicks and we're gonna get it out from the nest box and this is in order for us to ensure that whenever there is a dead chick it will not affect the others which are alive so we really have to monitor the activities of the birds inside the nest boxes without fear of course of you know throwing the eggs or killing the chicks i had an experience before that one of the birds was able to escape from the cage and when i investigated actually i found out that this bird was able to make an opening in the decayed uh, you know wielded screen and these are the things that we should put in mind that we have to be careful also about the surroundings we have to regularly inspect what's going on there inside because in my case i have noticed that there is a gap between the the roofings and this uh, wood the frame so they can sneak out if they want to so i immediately made a repair on this i asked my staff to put some coverings of course with welded screen so that they cannot munch it this is not to be neglected we have to be keen enough observing what's going on because these birds are really powerful and they really have this tendency to munch everything so that if we can make our cage 
that durable, then do it because we might end up losing them when the materials that we're gonna use is substandard. I'm not worried about the flood actually because what we have in mind in the future is to have a floating restaurant and if you're gonna make a floating restaurant you need some water this volume of water of course and I'm so happy even for this experience because it gives us now the idea on the actual elevation that we needed in order to be free from this flood and Good thing that it happened before we finalize everything so we can just make an adjustment. And along this dream of having this catfish farm, we are also now continuously breeding our fish. And in our last video, I made mention about the artificial and natural scheme that we mix together. Semi-artificial and semi-natural. We're not anymore killing the male catfish but instead we breed them naturally with the hormones and that's what you're gonna witness today we will inject some hormones so that they will lay their eggs on the following day so we will do this and our staff have been so busy about catching the pregnant so that we can you know inject them and expect them to breed right now we have thousands already of this baby catfish and i'm so uh, hopeful that the soonest possible time we can release this in the mud pond. Let me explain to you how this operates, this uh, artificial and semi-artificial and natural breeding. Of course, in the pure natural breeding, you don't use the hormone, anything, this natural. And in the artificial, we're gonna get the testes of the male to be mixed together with eggs of the female so that it will become fertilized and be hatched. But what I have in mind is to try to mix this using the hormones and just leave them alone and it's very effective and that's what i am revealing to you now that you can go with the both the combination it's more effective than the pure natural and and artificial so these are the things that we can share with you so far i hope that you will continue to like and share our videos and if you wanted to know about farming and you like the contents of our videos i will invite you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly and if you will subscribe then you will be notified of our regular uploads only here at dexter's world